What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another flea market find video. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here are my recent pickups at the flea market. I have picked up four things the last time I went. Because I've been sick, I haven't been able to go too often, so I haven't even been able to record this video. I picked these up a while ago. So let's just get straight into it. So one of the things I have started to collect, I only have the two things I have here, are these little stone carvings. And this one's a little turtle. Only cost 50 cents. It's heavy. I'm not sure exactly what kind of stone it's made out of. I'll have to get it checked eventually, but that one's pretty cool. So I picked that up, only 50 cents. It's a great addition to my collection. And the next one is amazing. It is a bowl. It is huge. And it is heavy. Like, I mean, it is heavy. There is a lot more detail in on this one. You can already tell. But like I said before, I'm not sure exactly what these are made out of. They look the exact same kind of stone. They don't look the same age, though. I will say that if you really look at it, this one here is more white. Unless it was polished, maybe. And this one here is more like darker. So I'm not sure. I'll have to get them checked out. But this one here only cost me a dollar. So, I mean, that is a great piece. It's heavy, too. And I'm I think I looked up the value of what th things like this typically go for, and they go for around $20. So for me, picking up for a dollar, that's great. Not that I'm planning on selling it. It collects things like this in my collection anyways, but this is a great knickknack for me. I love having stuff like that in my collections. Next up is something uh, you guys might not know I collect too much of, and that is uh, vehicles. I used to collect a lot. In my room here, about a year ago, I used to have over 50 modeled cars and I decided I'm gonna put them away into storage to put out some of my other collections stuff that I'm more passionate about and that I do want to display more of like my comic books my hockey cards and everything else I collect that I share here on my channel but this is a um, little truck bank a little coin bank and I'm not sure if it was made um, but it says 1931 so I'm not sure if it was made in 1931 or if that is the um, the year of the truck that it's supposed to be. It is a uh, Hawkeye. That is the company that makes it. This here I think only cost me like $5. It's craft though. So it has a double meaning. My mother works at uh, the craft factory. So pretty unique. This is heavy as well. And the best part is where you get the, um, the coins out of. I have the little blocker. And it comes with the key. The original key that's in it. So... That to me was worth it, just to know that uh, it has all the original stuff on it, and it is clean. I was actually surprised. This is really, really clean. Like I said, I only picked it up for $5, and they average out about $20 online, so that was a good steal. Luckily, I have my phone now, so I can look up prices when I'm at the flea market, so that's even better. And the last thing I picked up, this was the very last time I was at the flea market before I really got sick. I finally picked up a bobblehead. An NHL hockey bobblehead. This is a Team Canada for Lemieux. And I've actually looked this up. And they range anywhere from $50 to $100. Apparently online. And because this one actually has the gold medal on here. Um, usually it'll just say that have the Team Canada logo on this little um, block. But because it actually has the uh, gold medal. It's supposed to be worth closer to the $100 mark. And I only paid $5 for it. Again, not like I'm going to be selling it. It's going to be staying in my collection. I just don't have a spot in my hockey card collection where I put all my hockey stuff on display. I don't have a spot for it yet, so it's at the very top of my shelf usually. But I got to adjust some stuff. I got to make room because this here I plan on keeping. In my personal opinion, I've never collected much Lemieux stuff to begin with. I usually collected stuff... Um, Again, I'd rather that, but Lemieux, my first bobblehead. I'm not saying he's a bad player. It's just something I've never PC'd and never personally collected any of his stuff myself. But this is a great bobblehead, especially for my first one, especially for only picking it up for five and it's worth closer to the $100 mark. But this is the stuff I picked up the last time I was at the flea market, like I said, before I got sick. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. 
Hopefully, now that I'm starting to feel better, I'll be able to go back more on my weekends off because I finally got my weekends every other weekend off again because they started to book me in and make me come in every weekend, which was not working for me because I'm not overdoing it anymore, especially for where I work. And I do have more story times about work coming up soon on the channel. I hope you guys do stay tuned for that. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.